everybody, welcome back to Art Show at Home. Please follow our Instagram and subscribe to our YouTube channel. I'm Eliza and this is my mom, Eve. Hello, some of you know me as Art Teacher Eve or Mrs. S. Today we're gonna go over basic art supplies that you may wanna gather and have at hand. As we mentioned before, most of our projects are gonna be created using supplies you already have at home. We're gonna go over those today. We're also going to go over some extra supplies that you may wanna have on hand as well and gather up now while you can. Eliza, will you start for us? You're going to need a glue stick, a box of crayons, a box of washable markers, and a pencil. Another good thing to have on hand is a box of colored pencils. I like the Prismacolor brand when I'm working with my students. Any brand will do though. You also want to have a set of watercolors. Doesn't need to be this big, just some basic watercolors. Glue in a bottle. Doesn't need to be gel glue. White glue would be just fine. And an eraser. These are the basic supplies. Now we're going to go over some more advanced supplies that you may want to have on hand as well. You're going to need a fine point and a thick Sharpie, just for like details and stuff that we do. You're going to need some paint brushes. And can you explain some of the sizes of paint brushes? Paint brushes come in a lot of different sizes. Um, for those of you who do watercolor painting, I always like to have what's called a number three, or actually this one's a number four, a number four round brush. This tip allows you to do a lot of things. Again, a number four round brush for watercolors. But otherwise, I think an assortment of just different sizes of paintbrushes will do. And then you're gonna need these Prismacolor chalk pastels. They have different packaging, but they're the same brand. They're the same chalk pastels. So they're called New Pastel. They're made out of chalk. And if you look at this box here, you'll see they're all broken down the middle. When you buy a new box of pastels, I actually recommend taking your thumb and just splitting them all down the middle so you have some control over where they break because they are very fragile. But you'll find with some of the projects that we do, it's nice to have little tiny pieces. So honestly, I buy a new box and I just slice them all down the middle so they're nice and even. A couple more things I wanna go over. Um, you wanna have maybe on hand, these are fun. These are called oil pastels. The brand that I'm using here is Crepas. Um, they're the junior artists. I use these with my students. This just means like they're the cheaper student version. They work very well. I don't think you need anything more expensive. Um, and again, these look a lot like crayons. They're a little bit more oily. We'll go over some different uses for these down the road. And the last thing that I wanna recommend you have is some heavy paper, okay? This actually is not a watercolor grade paper, but you can do some basic watercolor stuff on it. But a heavy paper, this is nine by 12 in size. I think this is plenty big. You can use this and cut it down into smaller pieces for some projects as well. Thanks for joining us today. We are actually gonna post another video a little bit later on how to a how-to project. Um, but for now, those are some supplies for you to gather. We hope you can join us again soon. Always remember to stay creative. Thank Bye. you.